There are various ways of loading logs, and the method used, like transport, is determined by local conditions. The boom loader, though popular in overseas softwood forests, is not widely used here. It's capable of lifting heavy loads and is constructed from spars and other timber cut right on the job. To ensure that supplies of millable timber shall be continuous, special timber extraction roads are being progressively constructed. Forest areas previously inaccessible are so opened up. Under the shaggy brow of Mount Buller, hard by the Delatite River, is the sawmill settlement of Marimba. Here we find yet another of these roads under construction. The project is well underway. Here's someone in a hurry. That looks like the forester's utility. Yes, it is. He is principally concerned in the progress from the timber extraction viewpoint and has come up to see the works engineer. I've been told that this is a pretty decent example of a timber road so we'll go up onto the job with them. At this curve near Currajong Creek, a big bend was cut out of the mountainside to keep an even grade. It's a long way down. Further up the road we find, hello, what's this? Trucks coming out already? If those four sticks are a sample, some nice timber country is being opened up. Two huge pipe culverts have been put in under that bend to provide ample getaway for the Currajong Creek when swollen by snow melting on the pinnacle. Rounding a spur from the pinnacle and into the valley of Falls Creek, they blasted out a granite boulder this morning and a dozer has been pushing out the rubble. And here we are at the foreman's hut, high on the steep bank of Falls Creek. In addition to timber extraction roads, others are constructed primarily for fire protection. A fire dugout is being made on one of these roads at Nuji. These commission-built roads form a small part of a vast network of thousands of miles of road, varying in type, width and design. They are planned and constructed to meet the various needs of log haulage, timber utilization, and forest management. During the fire season, these roads provide the vital access necessary for the rapid transport of men and firefighting gear to isolate and suppress outbreaks.
And that's that. Where the road line passes through valuable timber, trees are felled and cut into lengths for later haulage to the mill. Stumps and valueless trees are... Back of the Delatite, the road is pushing ahead and is now approaching the Razorback Saddle. relaxation, sport and enjoyment as we forget our daily cares. For the forester, it means anxiety and added responsibility as his thoughts turn to the coming summer. The traditional enemy may attack without warning, reducing homes and townships to heaps of charred ruin and rubble, destroying thousands of acres of valuable forest and perhaps claiming a tragic sacrifice of human lives. 95% of forest fires are lit by the hand of man. The distorted mind of the firebug who deliberately fires the forest with motives of self-satisfaction or revenge. The hand of the careless holidaymaker who throws a lighted cigarette or burning match by the roadside or in the bush. These are only some who won't realize that in the forest Matches are a menace. At forestry depots conveniently situated throughout the state, modern firefighting equipment has been stored throughout the winter months. Late spring finds this equipment undergoing thorough tests. These are trained men. They have just returned from a refresher course.